So all my bags have a label that shows the percentage of THC, but the label also has THCA. And if you've ever wondered what all the differences are in between these two, this is the video for you. We're gonna learn what THCA actually is, how it acts differently in your brain, why some products have two different percentages on the label, the potential medicinal benefits of THCA, and then I'll show you how you can easily maximize the amount of THC that you get from any flower so you can always get the best medicinal benefits. Tetrahydrocannabinolic acid, or THCA, is a naturally occurring cannabinoid found in raw and living cannabis plants. The molecular structure of THCA and THC look very similar, but there is one big difference. THCA has this carboxyl group attached to it, but THC does not. And this is what changes everything. This added carboxyl group gives THCA a weirder shape and bigger size, which prevents it from easily getting into your brain's CB1 receptors. Your CB1 and CB2 receptors are how cannabis interacts with your body. CB2 receptors are mostly in your immune system, but CB1 receptors are mainly in your brain and are mostly responsible for how cannabis makes you feel. And since THCA can't get into those CB1 receptors, it will make you feel much different. THC THCA won't give you that classic psychoactive stone feeling that you would expect because it really can't get into your brain, at least not until we change it a little bit. THCA is a precursor to THC, and the change from one to another takes place just by adding heat in a process called decarboxylation. Decarbing can happen slowly over time after harvesting, or it could be done with an external heat source like an oven, or more commonly just from a lighter when you set it on fire. So when the plant grows, it grows with THCA in the trichomes, but that won't get you baked yet. But as the buds dry, the temp of the dry room and the temp of the room you store the buds in will slowly start to convert a tiny bit of the THCA but only a tiny bit. So when you pack up a bowl of fresh buds, they really don't have much THC in them at all. So in theory, the bowl you just packed shouldn't even get you baked. But as soon as you apply the lighter, the heat from the fire quickly converts the THCA into regular THC. That's why you will decarb plant matter in the oven before using it to make edibles, because the heat from the oven does the same thing as the flame from your lighter, just not as quickly. That's also why you might see two different THC percentages percentages on your labels. You might see labels with a percentage for THCA, which is usually high, and a percentage for THC, which is usually a lot lower. And that's because the low amount of heat that the plant has been through after harvest, like even just room temp levels like the 70s, has already started to slowly convert tiny amounts of THCA into THC. So that is the low amount of THC you're seeing on the label. The THCA percentage is the rest of the THC that has not been converted yet, and still remains in its acidic precursor form. But it will be converted when you get it home and apply heat to it. And there is an easy way to really maximize this conversion and get even more THC out of any flower you have, and I'll show you how. But some people might not even want to do this, and there are a few reasons why. First off, not all people who want to explore the potential medicinal benefits of cannabis also want to explore the mind-altering side of this plant. Some people would prefer just to get the potential health benefits without experiencing any of the buzz that some people could see as like a negative side effect. So people could use this to medicate without getting baked or just simply to medicate with higher doses without getting too far gone. And a study from 2017 showed that THCA even shows potent neuroprotective activity which could be used to treat neuro degenerative and neuroinflammatory diseases. But what if someone like me or you wanted to maximize the mind-altering side and convert every bit of THCA so we can get the biggest psychoactive effect from the smallest amount of medicinal flour? There's actually a really easy way to do this. You might be thinking that fire is great for this because it's hot and it's already in your hand. And a lighter does work, but it isn't very efficient. This thing is sort of just wasting your stash. When the plant material is burned, some of the THCA will convert to THC, but a large portion of it just gets destroyed by the fire before it even has a chance to do anything. The heat from a burning bowl or a lighter is way hotter than we really need for this conversion, so we need something cooler. 
like a vaporizer. When you vaporize the plant material, you heat the oils in the plant much slower and at much lower temps. So a lot more of the THCA has a chance to be converted into THC instead of just being burned up and destroyed. So when you light it on fire, it will get you some of the good stuff. But when you heat it low and slow with something like a vaporizer, you will get almost all of the good stuff. And getting the most from your buds can be lots of fun, but it can also make cool new medications like Rick Simpson did when he created Rick Simpson oil, which he claims cured his cancer. That video is here and it explains the crazy story that led to one of the most popular medicinal products this industry has ever seen. I'll see you there. Peace.